we've got Nor El Shabini here in the deep forehand, really setting up with a lot of options and then playing this really beautiful, really difficult thin cross court that's fading really quickly, really difficult for the opponent, well, more than difficult, impossible for the opponent to get back. But what she does, again, phenomenally well, let's look at her setup, which is classic. She goes left foot, right foot into the forehand, which, again, I subscribe to a lot. She gets her racket up nice and early. Look how early she gets her racket up on the tee. Not fully ready there yet, but she gets there. She settles in gets into that beautiful position and there's a lot of options. So, you know, this ball's bounced a little bit off the back. So there's not much safety at the pro level when that ball bounces off the back. And then from there, it's really hard to see what she's going to be doing. And she goes in like traditional drive, everything's looking traditional. And then she's just able to turn her wrist at the last second. You can probably just see that wrist opening there at the last second, sending the ball off in a, in a part of the court that, that really is almost the opposite to a straight drive. It's not quite, obviously the front left is the complete opposite to the straight drive, but the way she gets the ball there really quick and low and fast, it's impossible for her opponent to get it back. Look at where she aims on that front wall as well. She, she gives herself a tiny margin, not a huge margin, but the beauty is the setup, then the aiming there, just an inch or so above the tin, or not even an inch, maybe millimeters above the tin, and right in the middle of the court. And then just the natural angle and the speed of the ball, that ball gets to the second bounce so quick. To be able to make the ball bounce twice before the short line from the back of the court is a real magical skill. And it all comes from this wrist position, this opening up there. So she's nice and steep there. Racket head drops back a little bit, classic forehand technique, driving the elbow and racket butt forward, keeps the wrist open there and then there, redirects it. And then look at her follow through. She just makes sure that follow through goes towards her target area. She really leaves it in that area, but stops it a little bit as well. She doesn't fully commit, doesn't fully release that follow through, just checks it, and this is what makes the ball stop. And then the final thing is just looking and linking her movement. So as she goes in left, right foot, as she links, watch her left foot now. So she's using all this body momentum, opening her hips up a little bit, and then look how that left foot comes off through the contact point and into the follow through phase. So then she's following that ball up. Look at that, look at the urgency. So even if her opponent gets that back, she's all over the next one, but it's so good that Walili can't even get it back.